Welcome back to Factorio. So, I made some scribbles at work uh, recently. I've had a few days to think about this. And here we have a diagram of basically the flow through the belts and the crushers and the collectors and the assemblers and everything having to do with how this should be working. I've made um, this paper is about the front of the ship where we have the turrets and how they should be, you know, they should have the collectors on the sides uh, at the base of the spike. And um, <coughs> this paper right here is about the, um, the central belt, which is for processing ammo specifically. And it's got a, the, it's got two belts, which is something I hadn't thought of before. So I was just thinking about this while I was sitting at work um, recently, and I think I've puzzled out how to build that. And then finally here, finally here, I've got a diagram that shows the full layout of the ship. So we've got. Um, like the, the guns, and then we got the, the ammo processing, and then we got the hub, and then we got the engines and thrusters uh, and the f fuel processing on the bottom. So I'm going to be redesigning the ship to uh, to those standards. So uh, what do you say we get started? We should probably begin by going back to Intrepid and figuring out what to improve. Uh, it's still, the ship itself is definitely too small. Um, so I'm going to be tearing, tearing down some stuff and putting it back up. Yeah, this, this whole belt, it's such a mess. <laughs> we'll get it fixed. We'll get it fixed. There we go. So right off the bat, we're going to start off with more hub space because what I found was that I don't actually need to input anything in and out of the hub itself, which is kind of unexpected. We're just going to use the belts as storage. So the idea behind this is going to be that we're going to put the furnaces um, we're going to put the furnaces on the inside and they're going to collect the uh, iron ore and deposit the iron plates back onto the same belt but in a different lane. And that's a little tricky because you got to you got to do something a little different with them to get that to work. Whoops. You got to do this. So basically, the um, the long inserter, 
we'll take it from here, from from this lane, and the um, the shorter insert of the bulk inserter will put it back onto this belt, which will take it onto the near lane. Because if I put it back onto, um, like if I put one of these here, this would deposit it onto the far lane, which is where the where the iron ore is. We can't be having them mixed. So that, the idea is to keep the different things on separate lanes, uh, which will really, really help. So what we've got here is essentially the gap between the furnaces and we're going to put solars down the middle of it if they fit. All right, that works. Oh, I'm out of freaking long inserters. Whoops. All right, let's uh... So what we have on the right, on the upper right, is uh, an ammo assembler. And that's what this is. And then this is going to be uh, a long inserter to put the ammo on the outside of the outer belt. And so, and then a pair of crushers right here that will handle the, the crushing of the metal, metallic um, asteroid chunk. I do have some spare sh space, so we'll just put those there. <clears throat> What we've got to build next is uh, the front of the ship where the turrets are. So each of these is a turret. We've got a pair of collectors on the side here. All right, so what this does, what this does is um, the first splitter is to take all of the ammo that's on this belt and and split it off onto this onto this line. But then the second splitter takes the ammo and puts it back onto there. And the reason we have to have this splitter is because we still want ammo to be on the main belt. We just want to take some of it off. Now, one thing I could probably do that might actually make more sense, in fact, I think I will, <laughs> uh, is we'll, we'll just put a filter inserter. Oops. This will do the same thing, but it's not guaranteed to take, at a, a, you know, it's not guaranteed any kind of speed. But we'll we'll try it this way for now because it might it might actually turn out better. Thank you. 
Need more solars. All right, I've got 18 steel plate, which I don't think is enough. I think I need a lot more than that, which means I might have to run some more steel um, by doing some science. There's not a lot of science I can do though. I can resume this and I can, hmm. Laser weapons maybe? Oh, I see they've got rid of the um, the arrows to move these around. You can just drag them now, which is nice. That's very nice. So basically I've got to use up about 9,000 steel before it'll call another train of steel and build some more for me. Laser weapon damage seven. Wait a second. Wait a second. Where's the. Oh dear. Okay. Uranium's coming through too slow. We're going to have to take a, a little bit of a detour. Oh. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. This is, this is a rather important problem. <clears throat> Turns out the uranium processing has dried up, which means that there isn't any uranium for the nuclear fuel. Thank goodness I saved some spare, otherwise this would have all been... So we'll put this in here, and take some of the... lower that, take some of this out, put this in. I should get more feel going because man if the power goes out <clears throat> if the power goes out basically the bugs take over there oh look at that oh the temperature is already down to 614 all right get that fuel in get it in quick 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 here it comes all right so how fast does it go back up so it is going back up. Good, good. <laughs> Crisis averted. Yeah, so essentially all the laser turrets would die and the bugs would just chew through the entire perimeter 
Because the laser turret, it might seem quiet, like as a rule, but it's not. Those bugs keep on pushing their, their luck with the laser turrets. So, all right, I've got, I got to work out what to do about the uranium. Hmm. I have a whole new uranium patch I can build, but I haven't put a mine on it. Um. Really? Oh, so this is, this is pretty close to calling a train, I think. Wait. Oh no, 8,000. It's got to be 8,000. Question is, can I hold off that long? There's 1,500 more. So you can see it's been steadily dropping. We're currently sitting at 252 per minute. So at 250 a minute, that's 1,506 minutes. I should be fine. I should be fine. Right. But I am gonna I'm gonna have to put some energy into getting that working real soon. Very, very soon. Something else I need to work on I can do do like right now. Uh, is I need to put more of these uh, these quality modules and productivity modules into uh, into these outposts. Let's just do that real real quick because I want I want to get that steel for my solars, right? I need the, I need rare steel. That should catch any quality steel. And that should make more quality steel. Right, we need to think about putting up uranium um, right here, right here. So I've got to, I've got to deliver sulfuric acid and I'm not, I'm not shipping out sulfuric acid. So that's kind of a problem. Here, let's use one of these for that. Just call it uh, load, sulfuric acid load, right? You know, should I make it a two-car train? I think I should. for crying out loud. So this will call a train when we got 10,000, which means that um, with five tanks, we should be able to fill the train if one of them is 10,000. So that's 50,000, which is how much a train holds. We'll pre-fill this one. Alright, 
that should that should be fine. I'm just going to pop a little bit of fuel into it. There goes the uranium. So that's very nice. We've got, um, you know, I should turn these cover X off because it's using up too much of my, my U-238. Wait, wait, wait. No, it's actually, it's actually this. That turns the whole thing off. Yeah, we need to keep that, uh, we need to keep this stuff free for making fuel out of, because if we don't do that, we're just going to run out of power and the bugs will take over everything and just we'll basically lose the game right there. That's super important not to lose power. All right, now we just have to go down to uh, Work South 1. This is going to be a little tricky because we can't do a rail tap on this portion of the track because of these um, these ramps. So we're just going to have to do it like right here, maybe. We can't do a J loop back either because it's going to be we have to, we have two stops to make. It's just going to be a little bit more room that we need. screwed up that well no, no, it might be okay it might be okay hang on not entirely not entirely oh, that could do it bit strange but it'll work it'll work just fine doesn't matter if it's pretty, it'll be fine. Cool. All right. I think everything's hooked up. Power's hooked up. Um, this is calling a train. And this is ready to call a train when we have enough uranium mined. So now we just go ahead and take a look at that train. Now that train is full of sulfuric acid and so now we're just gonna 
add that final interrupt that when it's full right I think that's everything and now we just now we just turn it on and see what it does grabs fuel here it comes so we just unload the fuel or unload the the sulfuric acid until it's empty. Wait, what are these wanting? Oh, they're wanting um, productivity modules. Oh, you know what I never did? I never hooked up the sulfuric acid to the uh, to the miners. Whoops. There we are. Now these are all running, I think. These ones are not running. Oh, you know what? I missed one. Here, I can fix that. There we go. Great. Well, we got uranium coming. And this has got uh, 300 and some, and we'll wait for 8,000. And then we'll call a train. This train is already gone. I wonder where it's gone to. Well, well, where is it? Oh, we got a case of the missing train. Because it's not here, loading sulfuric acid. It's not in the waiting yard. Hang on. You know what? It's here. Why is it trying to get into this waiting yard? Oh, do I not have enough? Wouldn't that be strange? Oh, there's waiting yards up here, guys. What are you doing down there? All right, why has it tried to go to... Why is that strange? Train limit should be one. Um. Did I hook these up wrong? No. Train limit, train limit should definitely be one, though, for all of them. There we go, that fixes that. What a strange thing to forget, and what a strange thing that it hasn't broken until now. At any rate, we will have um, plenty of uranium now. I forgot to put a radar down. Dang it. Well, I can still see this little part here. So it looks like we've got 7,100, which is almost enough to call the train. I just want to make sure that the train is called. See, now this has only got um, 620. So it's loading super slow, which is the reason why we ran out of uranium is because this just isn't mining it fast enough with this little bit. And this one, is is it even calling a train? It is calling a train because it's got less than 11,000. It's got 4,000. All right, so now it's calling a train. Um, That's a little strange. What's to go to uranium? Oh, uranium ore load. Is that not what I called it? It did. Oh, but, oh, I forgot this. Uh, this little checkbox. <clears throat> How many times have I forgotten to tick that? Right, here comes the train now. Yeah, we got 3.3 million, which should be plenty for a long time. And when that runs low, I mean, we st we've still got this over here that I haven't even touched yet, and this, and this. So there's no shortage of uranium. It's funny because the one I'm mining, I think, hang on, there it is. So we're unloading. Good, good. 
Yeah, it was down this way, wasn't it? It was. It was this one. This is the one that I've. This is the one that I missed. That one time when I was driving the tank through here. Now look at everything. <laughs> Fully domesticated. Man. Pretty cool. Okay. So now that that's done and crisis averted with the nuclear power, let's just make sure that we are actually indeed. So we got a hundred or so in here and, uh, and this is indeed requesting U-238, which we need for the fuel. And we got 48 fuel built up. And yep, everything is just fine. Just fine. So now we can go back to space and dealing with that. 